my God. I need the ghost cheese. Service fresh. Another chicken, another hippopotamus. Well, I was only discussing it this evening and I think they must get it at Billingsgate because it's so incredibly fresh. Sebring, skate, lemon song. We get most of our fish come from Billingsgate market. Yeah. It's good to see you. Welcome you to Billingsgate. Uh, it's a pleasure. You've come a long way. <laughs> yeah, from across the sea. I hope you haven't wasted your time. You know, I'd eat fish seven days a week. You could come to my stand and I would give you fish every day of the week for one year and you wouldn't have the same fish. That's how many varieties are. And they're all like human beings. They're all individual. They've all got that lovely different taste. I mean, you can have squid, calamari, sardines, John Dory, plaice, trout, bream, halibut, turbot. I can go on and on and on. And it's fabulous. You can't beat it. It's the finest thing in the world. The good Lord providing us with fish. Lovely. Fishermen is the hardest job, fishermen. There was a um, there was a story in the Mail one day, right? You know, like the Mail on Sunday. And a journalist is going out on a boat with a father and his two sons. And this journalist had covered the Vietnam War. He said being on a boat is more dangerous than the Vietnam War. He would rather cover the war. Wow. So it just shows you what it's like on a boat, especially when it's rough and choppy and that. You know what I mean? Billingsgate Fish Market, it comes from a name of a particular place very, very uh, close to London Bridge, right at the heart of the city. And it probably comes from the name Bellin's Gate, which was one of the gates in the city. Um, Bellin may have been a, a wharf owner. Um, it became more and more a, a fish market where fish was landed for the great population of London. So the old fish market in the centre of the town moved out to Docklands and the old fish market was redeveloped for office space. I don't think it's been very successful, it's been empty for quite a long time, but you can still go and visit that market. So it moves down to the Isle of Dogs. A new market is established in the mid-1980s there and um, it soon becomes a really thriving market. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a really special place in London. <laughs> so what's your favourite part about working here? It's the people. It's just, it's different, although well, it's the same, it's different every day. Oh, the people, they laugh, it's, you know, it's, it's good characters, good, it's good laugh, I mean. It's the atmosphere, it's the atmosphere, it's... Uh, what, about, what about the atmosphere? Well, it's an interesting place to work, there's lots of characters, lots of different people, lots of different products going through there. Come on! I think one of the reasons that celebrities visit it is because it still has that old-style market feel to it. It's also something you've got to get up quite early to visit. You know, if you go along there at midday, there's not much to see. So you have to go there four or five, six o'clock in the morning, and you see this incredible busy, busy sort of lots of movement and noise. And you can see how the, the market traders have set out their wares and how there's great competition. You know, if there's someone selling salmon a bit cheaper, everyone will sort of descend on that stall. But it just has a, an atmosphere. For the last three or four years, I come every. They call me their artist, really. I come every morn, every Thursday morning. I painted my uncle with a bit too much hair there, and uh, it's, it's darker as well. He's painted it darker. It should be great. Well, I, want to get, I normally get, get up about half past one, quarter to the two. Get here about half past two, quarter to three. Take all the stuff and start serving, really. And let's burn and finish about nine o'clock here. Go home, uh, office work, book work, do the bills and then about one o'clock finish I suppose. Okay, it's alright, so I start quarter to four but I'm home from nine o'clock in the morning. So I get the rest of the day to do what I want. So that's not that bad, so it's alright. The social life's really bad, you haven't got one, so that's the worst part about it.
right, the uh, these are cockles. This is our this is our main this is it, my family's main industry, my and my brother's main industry. She was a fishmonger, and short was no wonder, and so were her father and mother before. They both knew oh, their yeah, barrows, through streets yeah, broad and narrow, buying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Alive, alive, oh. Crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. And what are you doing here at Spilling Escape? I'm getting ready to buy fish. For me, I'm, for me and my family. Oh yeah? Barracuda, fresh and dried. Those are my favorites. Different people get different tastes. Yeah. So we got some knowledge about this. When it moved down to the docks, obviously a whole era changed. But the market today is still great fun to go to visit it. <laughs> Um, it's still a very thriving, um, traditional, it feels very London, very East End London. A lot of the voices there are East End. But because London's become such a multicultural centre, lots of people are buying very exotic fish. Fish is coming from the Pacific now, from, from the, the, the Atlantic, the Southern Atlantic. So you can see all sorts of strange fish that you'd never have seen in the past at Billingsgate Fish Market. Fish is the best food in the world. Because it's just good for you, it's non-fattening. The, the fatty fish, the fatty fish, the herring and all that, is good for your heart. The other fish, like the cod fillets, haddock fillets, there's no fat in them whatsoever, so you can live on it. It'll be a little crunchy right here, so you're going to want to put that part in. Bite, bite down. How does your fish taste? Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Wanna swap a packet of chicken with this beautiful girl from Puerto Rico? Yeah? Hey! You can have that, you can have my tush, yeah. You can have it for yeah. free. How much? You can have it for free. Yeah, yeah. You can have 900 quid. Six minutes. Yeah. Six films.